Contestant number five, Lee Guo. Check off. Check off. Lee Guo. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Y'all got that? What was that? Anybody care to guess? Well, it's Chekhov's gun. What, what's a Chekhov's gun, I hear you ask? Well, contrary to what you might expect, it's not a real gun. It's actually a narrative principle aptly coined by the famous Russian writer Anton Chekhov. And it states that an element within a narrative is, if misused, would be contrary and negatively impacting the development of a story. Like, say, if I just kept my hand up here for the entire duration of the speech, it would be bad for me because your attention would be divided between this and my voice. And ladies and gentlemen, we all know that life is just one big story, and there are so many elements that keep distracting us, and it's just so deceitful and just disparaging at times. Like, man, did I really just fall for that phishing scam? I should have known that a hundred bucks an hour was too good for part time. And that is why I am here today to encourage, to enlighten, and to pull back the curtains on what is truly meaningful and concrete in life so that we may all lead a life of self-actualization. Wow, that was, that was a big word, isn't it? Seven whole syllables. And I wondered, hmm, what better way to explain the concept of embracing one's own meaning and happiness in life than with the classic tale of the shepherd's boy. Now once upon a time, a great king ruled over the kingdom and his people were teeming with happiness and prosperity. But one day when the king checked in the mirror, he saw that he had a white hair faced with the prospect of his own mortality, he called for his most loyal counsel, a shepherd's boy. And he asked the boy one question. How many seconds are in eternity? For I do not know what to do with the time that I've left. And the shepherd's boy said, there was this mountain of pure diamond. It would take hours to fly over it and days to walk around it and nobody could do a thing about it. No one even tried. But every 100 years, a little bird would come to the Diamond Mountain and sharpens its beak on it. And until the entire mountain is chiseled away, the first second of eternity will have passed. So what's the takeaway from this story? Well, it's that, ladies and gentlemen, life is a long game. Things do not just happen and conclude like that. It's not like a video game. You don't do quests. No, 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 no. It's that life and meaning and our existence is defined by the strengths and tenacity of our character to persevere, to take that first ship off the mountains, because if we don't even start trying to begin with, nothing would change. And all of us, all of us can go from being a nobody to a somebody. It's all whether or not we care to take that first leap of faith, to do something with your life, to start taking charge, to start taking charge of your day, starting from this moment onwards. So let's not keep our stockpile of dreams and aspirations locked in the barrel any longer, and let them fire away to cut through the darkness and all the distractions. Bang! Thank you. <laughs>